there is a difference between quitting and giving up. Let's talk about it. Thank you for tuning in to Strategy Rewind. I'm your host, Miguel LeBron. I'm a personal growth strategist. And on this podcast, we talk about the strategies and the mindset necessary for a breakthrough moment. How often have you found yourself in a position where you're thinking about quitting or maybe you're thinking about giving up? And you, well, maybe have heard these phrases. In fact, oftentimes we treat them as synonyms. We interchange quitting and giving up. And people criticize one and criticize the other because we never really sit down to define what the heck does it mean to give up? And what does it mean to quit? But let's define these. Let's talk about first giving up. Here is a definition that I've created for the word giving up. It is knowing there is still room for improvement, but refusing to do the work it requires. This is the definition I have come up with the word giving up because I tried to figure out, okay, what is the difference between giving up and quitting? And I have understood that giving up is knowing there is still room for improvement, but refusing to do the work it requires. And that is an issue. Because if you give up on your dream, if you give up on your purpose, if you give up on a relationship, if you give up on your studies, if you give up on a career, if you give up, you knew deep down inside there was more to do, but you were not willing to do it. Deep down inside, you knew it required more out of you and you weren't willing to to give it. Maybe it required more humbleness. Maybe it required more strategy. Maybe it required more self-awareness. Maybe it required more self-confidence. Maybe it required less arrogance. Maybe it just required humility, right? Maybe whatever it is that it required, you just weren't willing to do it. And so you gave up. But we treat giving up and quitting as though they're interchangeable. So if we've been able to define what is to give up, the question becomes, what, is it, what does it mean to quit? And for me, to quit is to walk away from a project that has no benefit in continuing. It's to walk away from a project that has no benefit in continuing. And so oftentimes we find ourselves committed to something a relationship, a work project, a conversation where we just have to say, you know what? I quit. I'm out of here. I'm done. I'm not I'm not going to keep doing this. I'm not going to keep going back and forth. I'll be the one to walk away. And so we have to come to a place in which we understand, and maybe you've heard this phrase where it's like, is this the mountain you're willing to die on? I've heard this phrase a lot, and, and it's a very important phrase because the question is, are you willing to die on this mountain? And, and the idea is, if you're climbing a mountain and you know it's, a, it's, a, it's going to be a tall climb, the idea is, as you're journeying up and as you're deciding to just keep going and keep going and keep going, the air may get a lot denser. It may be difficult to breathe. A lot of people may have just given up, uh, and you have to now decide, is this the hill I'm willing to die on? And this phrase is often used when it comes to arguments and it's with reference to a project or with reference to something you're doing. Are you willing to put all in? Like is there's this fight. My goodness, if you can find the clip, it's worth watching. There is a fight that uh, Israel Adesanya, UFC fighter, he is having and it's a battle. It is war. And there is a moment where they're heading into the final rounds and he is on one side, his opponent is on the other side, and they're about to start this round, and they've just been beating each other to a pulp. And the referees in the center asks, are you ready? And the guy says, yes. And he looks at Israel at Asanya, and he says, are you ready? And Israel at Asanya responds by saying, I am prepared to die. It is 
a powerful moment. He says, I am prepared to die. And of course, they start the round. And let me tell you something, Israel, San, Israel Asanya goes to work. He goes to work. But he said the phrase that oftentimes we are not willing to say, I am prepared to die on this mountain, but I will not give up. And yet we sometimes refuse to be smart enough to know when to walk away. Therefore, the question becomes, now that you understand the difference between giving up and quitting, that is, giving up is knowing there is still room for improvement, but refusing to do the work it requires, and quitting is walking away from a project that has no benefit in continuing. Now that you know the difference, the question becomes, are you at the stage where you must quit, where you should stop being stubborn and actually recalibrate, or are you giving up before your breakthrough moment? Today's conversation was necessary, and I believe it's pivotal in your journey. But the question is, what's next? Where do you go from here? The next step is for you to set up a free 30-minute strategy session. Head over to MiguelLeBron.com or click on the link in the show notes. It's necessary for you to take all of the things you've learned and apply them so that you can have a breakthrough moment.